What's up everybody? This is Dre and I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a masticating juicer. Now, a few years ago I did a review on a, um, a regular juicer, uh, but there's something called a masticating juicer. If you're not familiar with that, it's, uh, it's a juicer that actually grinds the vegetables and uh, fruits at a much slower pace. And supposedly you're getting more nutrients from a slower grinder than a traditional juicer. So we'll take a look at a masticating juicer. Um, also we'll take a look at how you can take files from a CD and make them high definition. So if you've been wondering what you um, what can you do with your CDs if you're not playing them that often but you don't want to pay 15, 20, 30 dollars for high definition files. We'll show you how to transfer the files from your CD onto a player. Okay. And uh, last but not least we'll look at some of the best high tech sales for this week okay so uh, please like share and subscribe and we will be back in a moment This week on London Real, we have Joe Cross, creator of the award-winning documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Time bomb waiting to explode. I was thinking that the boats and the cars and the watches and the, they were more important than the micronutrients and the blood pressure and the cholesterol. I didn't consume life. I consumed dead and recently dead. Juicing is drinking water filtered through plants. So I locked myself up in what I'm calling fruit and veggie prison. After five months, no more medication, 100 pounds down, felt the best I'd ever felt in my life. I find it impossible not to think of um, a juicer without thinking about Joe Cross. Um, that has been extremely, extremely beneficial for me to see that documentary. And uh, in the years that I've bought my original juicer, I've used it many, many times. But um, he's now been recommending getting a masticating juicer. And I just picked this one recently up at Amazon for $130 in Sayedo. Um, and some of the main differences with a masticating and a regular juicer is that um, it does produce um, juicing um, at a slower pace, um, a stronger concentrated juice. Um, the noise factor is minimal compared to the uh, regular juicer and it has fewer parts, which means that it's easier to clean up. And um, it also has a smaller footprint, which I like, so it takes up less space. Now, there are some downsides. Um, I did find that every once in a while, um, I had to hit the reverse button because it would jam up a bit. Um, so that's something that you also have to take into consideration, as well as it's maybe two to three times slower. So to even get some juice here, you really have to stand over it. But in the end, if you have the time, I strongly, strongly recommend getting a masticating juicer. Okay, you're facing a dilemma. What do you do with all of these CDs that you spent a small fortune on? Can't easily get rid of them because what will you do with your stereo system? You spent a fortune on that as well. However, your subscriptions to Tidal and Amazon and Pandora and Sirius or costing you more than the CDs that you originally bought them for. Well, if you have a Mac, I've got a solution. Stay with me. For those working with a PC, um, you do have a couple of options. Um, one of them is called Audition, and the other one is called Audacity. Um, Audition is made by Adobe, uh, but you're stuck with a subscription, and um, Audacity is freeware, but it takes a long, long time. If you're on the Mac, the cheapest and fastest way is to go with Toast, uh, which is roughly about $100. And it is the best way and fastest way to produce a, um, a clean, high-definition version of your CDs. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder on your desktop, okay? 
And um, if you have the disc in first, in the disk drive or a portable disc player, uh, put that disc in first, and then from there, just copy the title of the album onto a folder. So once you have the folder, uh, you're going to open up uh, Toast, and then you're going to see along the top header where it says Convert. Just open that up, okay? And then you go down to the right where it says Audio. Click onto that. Now, the folder that you have on your desktop, um, first of all, you're going to drag all of the songs from your CD into that folder. Open up that folder and then, again, drag those songs, those files, into Toast. And then it's going to align itself, okay? Now, you're just going to need to do some adjustments. You can do it either before or after, but I'm going to do it afterwards, okay? So um, once you're inside, you hit Convert. It's going to go Track. You'll look at the artist. You'll put the artist's name in, okay? Make certain that you highlight it and click Apply to All so that all of the tracks have the same artists going there. Then you're going to go to the part where it says disk along the header. Okay? And that'll be the first one. Once you go to disk, now you're going to type in the title of the album. Now if it's a two album thing here, you can just put in disk one or disk two and uh, call it a day. Click OK and then now you're good to go. Now the second part is where you're going to have to decide which compressed file format you want. So what you're going to do simply is to um, go where it says convert. Now it's a little red box on the bottom side. It's uh, roughly um, right in the corner and it's just after you see um, the file size. Okay. You're going to open that up and then you're going to hit option. Now the option is in the lower left hand side and then once you click on to option um, it's going to ask you um, what do you want to translate it into. Now I've pre-selected FLAC because FLAC is a little bit better than WAVE as far as storage. Um, WAVE does have a slight bit better um, audio but it's nothing to um, nothing to brag about. The sample rate um, I would say 44 kilohertz and up. I just happen to choose 48 and then um, once you've gotten that, it's just a matter of making certain that you're going to send the files back to the correct folder. Click open. And then in that original folder that you created when you first put in the disk, you'll see the original files there. So uh, once it starts to translate and you're telling Toast to put the new files into that folder, um, you're going to see uh, essentially all of the files that you put into Toast, now duplicated, with the exception of the suffix. The suffix is now going to say .flac. Once you've gotten the files in there, take the original files that you got from the CD and then just chuck it into the garbage. So then the only thing left in that folder are the um, uncompressed file folder, the uncompressed, excuse me, the uncompressed songs that you have there. And it's roughly 40% smaller than the files on your CD with the same resolution. Okay. Now make certain that um, if you want to keep it in the same sequence, make certain that you have it as um, 01 through 09. Now it's time for our best tech deals of the week for July 24th through the 30th, 2022. Okay. Everybody knows that school is opening up in the next several weeks. And guess what? Here's an incentive. If you've been waiting to buy a laptop or a desktop for your child or for yourself, now is the best time. Uh, for the next uh, two and a half weeks, um, in several states, it's now tax-free. So you can buy um, anything from a uh, HP to an Acer to an HP. Uh, any of those on Apple, I mean, I'm sorry, on Amazon is a great deal. And for those who are Apple lovers, guess what? It also applies to you as well. So if you're in the market for a tablet, uh, MacBook Pro, um, MacBook Air, or a desktop, uh, now through August the 15th is tax-free. All right, that's your tech deals for the week. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next week.